<laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to Trivium Nightmares. Hi, my name is Hayden, and that was me four months ago, back when Trivium Nightmares competed in the Arizona State Championship for FTC Robotics. This is a vlog recorded from a GoPro and a few people's phones showing our experience at that competition. If you would like to see a more edited and stylized video showing our state competition, I'd recommend a video by a small YouTube channel and amateur FTC team Roaring Robotics. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. We read, Today we're packing I mean, up to go to state. Like Don't it. look at my address. <laughs> yeah, we just got some more parts. Because the robot slowly destroys itself. I mean, it's very strongly designed. Oh, we're going to Loctite some of the robot. Oh, uh, thank you to team. Uh, don't know the team number. It's right here. I'm, I'm going to edit this video. It's going to be great. Uh, Tickets to Paradise for giving us this. Uh, As you can see, you know, every other team is uh, currently busy. Uh, every other team is currently busy packing up. Um, we just got our stuff finished and yeah, we did some judging practice. How do you feel? Pretty hyped. We're gonna do good. We're gonna smash the competition. A little bit of Detroit smash. A bit of Texas smash. You know. <laughs> okay. We're, we're gonna rock. So, we're currently running from nightlights. Um, so, what we did, we packed up everything, got in everyone's car so we can head up because we commute by ourselves. It's great. We changed out the motor on the arm and the gearbox and bog tightened some things. So, now we have. As more better functioning robot. <laughs> How do you feel about say tomorrow? Oh, I feel magnanimous. I feel. What is? What are your predictions? Oh. I hope we get a Cobus Award. I think the Roaring Robotics is either going to get first place winning alliance or Inspire because they've been pushing that really hard. Tie Dye Samurai is also going to score high. Okay. I hope that either us Nightlights are undefined uh, places um, top four qualification in our division. What's up, guys? Um, it's currently the next day. Um, today's Friday at 9 a.m. And today is a day of pit setup, so in a few minutes, hopefully, um, I'm going to be traveling to Flagstaff to where the venue is. So, yeah. Moment of silence, bridges will burn, regardless, that's just how life is. God rest my soul, I just spent years trying to hide it. But you know it's yours, no matter how far we might drift. Oh, sorry. How much we feel like So you're going to have to find our pits. Oh. Our pits act as a base of operations for our team of 10 and also as a pit stop for the drive team. We have about two hours to set it up and make it look unique before we need to practice. Off to the side of the pits are two practice fields where the drive team can work on strategy and the coders can upload some final versions of their autonomous code before competing. Hello, we're here at this uh, we're gonna oh. do we see people's ideas when we're vlogging. I have no shame to do this anyways. Judging is that it just shows that FTC 
it's not all about robots. It's also part of your other values of how your team functions, as well as kind of other business values like your outreach and reach. So yeah. See you guys after the judging. Guys, we just got out of judging. How did Massive it went? W. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa started off. speaking facts. Popped off. Popped <laughs> off. Do your thing. But why is judging so important, I hear you asking. Okay, so robotics, not just about having a cool robot game. There's also awards. You get these from your judging session, and judges award these out to different people. There are awards such as the Inspire Award, the Motivate Award, Design Award, Think Award, Connect Award, and tons of others. Each one gets you a different placement in the advancement criteria, and some, like the Inspire Word, help you progress from state to worlds. Thanks, Will. Now back to the pits. Hi, guys. The pits are currently closing. It's 8 p.m., so I think we're just gonna walk to the food court or go back to the hotel and just chill and have a good time. Judging went really well, so I'm really excited. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Bye-bye. What's up, Jess? Hello. How do you feel today? Um, sleepy. Hayden, how do you feel? I have food in my mouth right now. <laughs> Alex, how do you feel? <laughs> oh, yeah, how do you feel? What's up, Trivium Nightmares Nation? <laughs> my name's Elliot Thunder. And today I am feeling positively <laughs> magnanimous. Yeah, I'm feeling good. So today, Alex. after this breakfast, we're planning on walking over to the venue. Hopefully, at around 8 o'clock. Once we get there, we're going to drive practice until opening ceremony. Then after that, yes, we're going to kill it. We're going to kill it. Oh, as you can see here, got everyone's pits. Uh, very chill. Yeah. I'm wearing Tim's. We got our pit uh, over here. Very magnanimous. We got night lights. Amazing wall. We got undefined. Amazing banner. Amazing bush. Amazing TV. Amazing pins. What's the plan for today, guys? Right now, so opening ceremony this is a row. Winning ceremony starts at about 9.45, so we're going to drive back this until then. Uh, first things first, we're going to hang up these lights again because they fell down. Oh. Uh, but yeah, we will see the driver practice until time. Hi guys, on the practice field right now. I think we're supposed to go in like 10 minutes. And test a few auto things to tell you up. And yeah. Do you think we could win? Yeah, I do think we can. Though. I let, I think we can. I think it's gonna be. It's gonna be a, it's gonna I think be it's gonna be close. It'll, it'll, it's gonna be, it'll tight. be like the toughest fight of our lives. Nah, I will. We had to compete first, so we got our bot into the official fields after our morning practice and before opening ceremony. What are you doing right now? We're, We're going down. to the stands. We're sitting down. Sitting down. This is so hype. Opening ceremony. I don't know what they're gonna do this time. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna summarize this part because opening ceremony took forever. Each team has had three chances to get to the state from qualifying competitions, leaving about 48 out of the 70 FTC teams in Arizona. Here is how today's competition is gonna work. Each team competes in five qualifying matches in a randomized 2v2 to determine their score. This score determines the ranking in the semifinals. After all the qualifying matches are completed, we have alliance selection for the top four ranked teams, pick their alliances, and then go in a bracket style until we find the winner of the competition. However, it's a little bit different at state. There's actually two competitions happening simultaneously. So after the finalists are determined from the two different sides, they compete against each other in a best two out of three match to see who the winner of state is. Now, that was a lot. So now finally, we can begin our robot matches. Psych, you don't know how the game works, but I know just the team to explain it to you. So we are competing in a robotics competition called First Tech Challenge. Every year a new game is released where we have to build a new robot. This year's game is called Power Play. And to summarize, the game is played on a 12 foot playing field with junctions scattered across the field at varying heights. We also have these cones that we use to place onto the junctions to score points depending on how tall the junction is. During each competition, we play through several matches with our alliance partners. Each match has four robots on the field at a time, with two of which being on each alliance. There are two main sections to the game, autonomous and driver control. The first 30 seconds of the match is the autonomous period. During this time, the robot can only move with pre-programmed instructions. We start with a pre-loaded cone that we can score, but we can score more cones as the autonomous period goes on. At the end of the autonomous period, the robot can park in one of three zones. The zones are randomized by the rotation of the signal cone. If the cone is set to position one, the robot will 
move to the zone closest to the audience. After that, we then have two minutes to drive the robot manually. We continue scoring cones up until the last 30 seconds of the match, also known as the end game. During this time, we get a bonus for every junction claimed to our team. And you get a large bonus by creating a circuit, which is where your claimed junctions form a line from terminal to terminal. Other teams can claim junctions back from you, which is why we have the beacon. If we place this onto a junction, then it is permanently ours. The team that gets the most points wins. This is getting boring, so let's get started. match review how do you feel Great. that's hype i saw that i saw that on the live stream that was amazing that was amazing that was amazing baby oh yeah actually it's good coaching <laughs> that was amazing okay when is our next match um they're queuing six right now and we're nine so we have yeah hi my name's Harrison, and I'll be breaking down our game strategy into three different parts. So starting with auto, our goal was to score a cone on the high junction, and then park in the correct zone based off of what we read on the signal sleeve. So for Teleop, during the first minute and 10 seconds of the game, we wanted to focus primarily on cycling on the medium junction. We wanted to do this as opposed to cycling on the high junction, because through testing, we realized that in the long run, it would be more effective and we had scored more points by cycling on the medium instead of the high. We then turned our attentions to cycling on other unclaimed junctions around us, like any low or high junctions for those extra ownership points. Finally, in endgame, we want to cap our beacon on any medium or high junction, not only to maximize our points, but to either deny our opponents a circuit or to support our own circuit. Then. We could either decide between parking in the shipping terminal or trying to score another point. Ultimately, this is just dependent on how much time we feel like we have, and if we feel it's a safer option, we'll resort to parking. Now back to the video. Hey, Nightmares Gang! What is up? Currently at our pit right here. Yeah, that pit presentation. Hogan. What happened recently? I just came over asked us some wild questions, man. Yeah. Nailed them. Basically asked us questions about like uh, outreach, you know, the Alexa program. Ooh. You want to demonstrate that for the camera? Okay. How about demonstrate? All right, bro. All right. Our Alexa program is able to give facts, information about event dates, and our members yeah. to anyone who owns an Amazon Alexa. Or even the app on your phone. Doesn't matter. Show a demonstration. All right. Alexa, ask Robot Friend to give me a fact. Always has a blue Quaker bird as a pet. 
Okay, okay. Okay. All right, match two with Goron Robotics. Showing in the bit. Stop um, vlogging. The rest of the team is. Uh, well, uh, the rest of the team is queued right now. Um, we actually have a pit rotation going on, so where we stay in the pit while the other people stay in the stands and scout. I don't know if they're recording right now. They might. Probably. But not. answering some yeah, judges' questions. Just some people driving. So yeah. yeah. Some judges came by. I think we answered their questions pretty good. Yeah, the judges were very impressed. So, yeah. Let's see how things go, baby. Now it's on to our final qualifying match. This one's special because it's against our sister team, Trivium Nightlights. We have had perfect autonomous this entire time, so we were very confident in ourselves. In fact, we were currently ranked fourth, so nothing bad could happen, right? Oh. Oh. Due to clever coding on their part and a technical difficulty on our side, it was now a 1v2, and so our drivers really had to focus up. Now that was over, we stared anxiously at the board, waiting for our final scores. We had lost, but only barely, and we actually noticed something else. We're done! We're done! We placed third! 
the best any Trivium team has ever done. Due to the way that they scored these matches, our loss hadn't actually meant that much, which means now we were one of the captains in the Final Four alliances. So now it's on to alliance selection, which I'll also skip because this is the video that you have watched so far, and this is alliance selection. It, it took a very long time. So you guys might be wondering why we chose the alliance partners that we did, and I'll be answering that. So our first pick, Knights of Bolts, 15461, the reason why we chose them is because we had a very solid match with them during our second match and we felt that our strategies synergized well together. Um, just the way that we worked together during the driver control period um, synergized pretty well and that's why we were able to score around 150 points. Um, for our second pick, Girls in Tech, 17062, um, the reason why we chose them is because we realized that they had a very high OPR, which if you don't know what that means, is they scored high on their own during Teleop and the Autonomous period. So they were also a very solid partner for us to work with. All right, guys, we just finished um, all all selection. Selection. Who do we pick? Uh, who do we pick? <laughs> All right, so uh, we think uh, we picked Nelson Bolts and Rosen Tech. Yeah. Also, I think it's a solid alliance. I think we'll be fine. I think so too. I think they were definitely going to, I think, we have a shot at, honestly, I think we have a shot, we're third, of beating second place. The Nightlights and Squires yeah. Alliance, that's me, it's, it's a little bit worrying. No, but I don't think, that, I think Roaring, Roaring and Technical Terrors, that's me if I'm So, we lost. But we still had this chance at Worlds, so we just had to win the Inspire Award, right? And as you've seen, we were very confident in our judging, so we thought we might have a chance. So we watched the award ceremony very closely. Please, come and on, come on, come on. This mentor's whole team was eager to share how he inspires his students. <laughs> to find out more, follow the ducky. Congratulations, oh. Mr. Oh. Salsado Team. <laughs> We actually won an award. We won the Cupus Award, which means that Mr. Selstead is technically the best FTC coach in Arizona, so that's pretty cool. Then we got to the final award, the Inspire Award, and we waited to see if we won. The Inspire Award is presented to the team that the judges felt truly embodied the challenge of the First Tech Challenge program. The team that receives this award is a strong ambassador for FIRST programs and works to promote FIRST and make it loud in their community. The team that receives this award has performed well in all judging categories and was chosen by the judges as a model FIRST Tech Challenge team both on and off the playing field. This team shares their experiences, enthusiasm, and knowledge with other teams, sponsors, their community, and the judges. Working as a unit, this team will have shown success in performing the task of designing and building a robot. In third place, Team 18625. We won the Inspire Award third place for the fourth time this season, so we didn't get to Worlds. But you're looking at the thumbnail and the title and wondering, how did they get to Worlds then? There must be another shot, right? You see, there is. I was lying to you. <laughs> Stupid. I was lying to you. There was still one more shot for some individuals to go to Worlds. The Dean's List Finalist Award. We have our Dean's List Finalists. First Dean's List Finalists are outstanding student leaders whose passion for and effectiveness at embodying first ideals is exemplary. These students were nominated by their teams for their direct contribution and impact on others. Exemplifying leadership and commitment on their First Tech Challenge team, in their school, and in their community. First Dean's List finalists recognized here today will represent Arizona in the running for the 10 Dean's List winners at the World Championship. We're going to call you down one at a time and Dave has your certificates. Our first finalist is from Team 18625 Hayden Armstrong! Alright, we just 
finish the award <laughs> ceremony. Now, the only award that we got was a third place Inspire, of course, fourth time in a row. Honestly, really proud of that. I think that was probably like definitely the best yes, award we could have However, me and Harrison, these two Jesus finalists, bro. The Jesus finalists. They're going to Worlds. Finalist award. Which means that we are. Going to Worlds. Going to Worlds, bro. Yeah. Two out of three. Yes. Uh, that is two. Students, students, students in robotics. What are we doing right now, Mason? What? What are we doing right now? Um, what do we just do? We're chilling in the lobby right now. We're currently chilling in the lobby. You know, post competition. No. Yeah, post competition. Night, night lights one date with Pioneer. Yeah. Pioneer at the lab table. Yes, Man, sir. Type. Next up, Worlds. <laughs> oh, no, we weren't the we weren't the alliance captain. So next year, Worlds. Yes, sir. Uh, I think we're just gonna play games for a bit, and then, and then gonna I'm gonna head out. So I'm staying. Uh, I'm headed back because don't want to have to drive this now. All right. Are you guys are good? Yeah. Okay, Basically. Uh, post. Post state cleanup. Post competition. You know, clean up everything. We're back the physics room. Uh, put that cart back, organize that cart, put a robot back in that cabinet. Uh, yeah, I guess that wraps up our state vlog. So, bye guys. So, yeah, me and Harrison went to Worlds. We got to see all the teams there, including the two Arizona teams. We got to volunteer on the official game fields. Uh, and we got to meet Dean Kamen, who the nerds know as the founder of First Robotics, but is more prestigiously known as the inventor of the Segway. That's right. Um, that's all for this video and for this season. I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I just had the best quickie with Harrison Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that is that's the worst selling job I've ever seen. Bye. Uh, Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Remember, he is gracious. Absolutely.